12 years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And uh, one of the chemotherapies was adriamycin. And uh, not too long after I completed my chemotherapy, I started having chest pains. And um, of course I knew, and the doctor knew, that there was a borderline chance that, or a slight chance that the adriamycin could damage my heart. And I just was one of the unlucky ones. And it, uh, adriamycin does tend to damage the left ventricle in some people. And it chose me. <laughs> Eventually, I uh, had to be hospitalized because the heart failure had gotten so bad and I was so short of breath. I was sitting up all night, uh, or sometimes half a night, couldn't breathe. So when it got that bad, and of course very hard on my husband, he felt very helpless and scared, he was afraid. Of course they discussed a heart transplant, and, but there were other issues they had to satisfy first. So in order to bridge time in satisfying these other issues, uh, physical issues, and the heart transplant, they recommended the Alvas. And so the Alvas, well, it gave me my life back. You know, it, it, it's serving as a bridge until I can have a heart transplant. And uh, the Alvas was doing wonderfully well. I mean, I started back, I started it back to walking, not really hiking, but walking, but I'm getting it back on my feet again, getting my strength back, and starting all over again. <laughs> so, but the Alvas is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I was so lucky, and because, you know, if, if I had gotten heart failure three or four, even, you know, years ago, the uh, Alvas then was so large, I, I could not have gone in my chest. You get into a very good routine with the wound care. And um, I think uh, it may be easy to become a little bit lax with it because, um, because it's something you do every day and you feel like your own system is just doing just fine and then all of a sudden there's a problem. Uh, having had a problem, we stick to the rules completely every day, you know. If there's a rule there to follow with changing the dressing, we, we take it very seriously. But I would say the most challenging part to me as a sort of a small woman, I'm five, three and a half, um, is, is managing the external devices. And that's the computer, actually it's two computers and one device here. And the uh, batteries, I have to wear two and I, I have, um, bought these vests. Thank goodness the vests came in style just in time for me to need them. <laughs> the vests are in style now. It's appearance and it's comfort. But of course, I am still looking forward to a heart, heart transplant. Yes. I'm still praying and hoping. And this is my bridge and it's given me a life until then. A good life. I have a good life. I belong to two garden clubs. Uh, I garden in my yard. Um, I'm active in the church. I'm active with my seven grandchildren and my three grown children. I have lots of friends and we do lots of things. We go on short trips because I can't go too far from the University of Virginia, hoping that I'll get a call. So we usually don't go more than a few hours away. We always try to stick to Virginia. Lots of places to see in Virginia. <laughs> so I never had one second of I'm getting teary because they are wonderful. One second that I would complain about. They've been great. Really great and I hope they know how um, thankful I am to them because I'm sure that they probably can't imagine what a difference they make in people's lives.